guys welcome to my channel my name is Feyi Eniola and uh, today I want to show you how to install a PHP script uh, whether the one you, that you bought from CodeKion or from any other uh, website or marketplace that sells uh, PHP scripts I uh, know many people if you want to go for example into, into the SaaS business you should have this basic knowledge it's very important and by the way, I have a course on how to start uh, a SaaS business on uh, this particular YouTube channel. You can go below to search for the link. I'll put the link in the description uh, below. You can also watch that. Then you can watch this so that when you select or find the SaaS product that you want to sell, you will know how to install it. So to install a SaaS script, you need a few things. One, you need a cPanel, uh, a website. And the hosting uh, uh, provider, you know, already. So you must have had. I, I assume that you have a website, and your website is hosted on the server. So that is why you are looking for how or where or uh, how to install your script. So I will not be talking about choosing a domain or choosing a hosting uh, a company. So I assume that you have them. So we just go straight to the to the training itself. So let's log into. Uh, C panel already. I've logged into my C panel, okay, of my own uh, website. I already logged in into the C panel, so and there is nothing more to do that than to just continue from here. But if you were the person, if you are just watching this video, so first of all, go to your hosting uh, website, log into your C panel, the domain where you want to install the the, the uh, PHP script. For this particular one, I have actually. I created a subdomain of, of my main domain and I'll be installing it on this uh, subdomain. So let's get started. So now once you are in the C panel, what you want to do is you start with what is called file manager. So you come to file manager uh, here and then on this particular hosting, I have more than one domain. You know, I have one, I have two, three, four, I have about four domain here and several subdomains. So, what you want to do is select the domain. If it is just one, you don't have multiple domains, you don't need to stress yourself. You just come here, you just go to home, then you select the domain. Alright, then whichever domain you want to use, and you go. But this is the one I want to use now, demo. So I have to double click it. The directory is clean, it's empty. At times, when you log in, first log into your C panel and come to the uh, file manager, you will see some, some files there. You can write 404 php 404.exe different uh, html and all of that so you can even find index file there so you are supposed to delete those first of all and i've done that that is why this directory is empty so the next thing is to go to your script the, your script to have uh, an upload script but not every uh, script do come with an upload script so uh, the normally once you just get your script from code kion or anywhere you are getting it from extract it after extracting it then you upload here so i have done the uh extraction of mine okay and this is the one i want to upload about i'll be installing this script a to z a to z seo2 script i'll be installing it so i'll click this is after extracting it then this is one of the files that i need to upload if i have already written there upload so i know what to upload directly if yours does not say right uh you no know, have an upload file then you should speak to the vendor where you buy it from. But normally you should have a file that you will upload. It makes it easy for customers to do that. So they usually write that there. So how do I upload? You come back to your file manager in the same panel, you click upload. Then you drag the file or you can select file from desktop. You have to drag, then I'll just have to drag here. Then come here and drop it. But I will not do that. So that for those who might find it difficult to do that, so what I will just do is uh, let me go back here. Then I will select, just select, go through the hardware. But the easiest way is just to drag and drop. But let me select, then uh, go to my documents. So I just have to go look for it and upload. So it's still the same thing, whether you drag and drop or you go through that process, it's still the same thing. So depending on the speed of your internet, uh, your upload might take some time to to load, depending on the size and the on your internet speed. All right. So but this is already 
uh, moving very close, just about 26.5 uh, uh, MB. So we we'll go back, click go back, then this is a file. But this file is a zip file. You cannot use a zip file like you cannot use this file like this. So you have to extract it. So you right click on the file, then you click extract. Extract. Okay. And there you are, it is done. Close. Now you notice that after extracting the file is in a folder called upload. And you cannot use your file like this otherwise in order to access this file if you leave it like this it will mean your domain slash upload all right before you can access uh the the files inside this uh, particular script so instead of stressing yourself and, your, and, your, and uh, those that will be accessing your website you want to make sure that you move this file away from this particular uh, folder to the home directory where once they enter your website, it goes directly to the script, access the script directly. So what you want to do is you want to select everything that is here. Then you come here, you click move. Now, remember that these files are inside the folder called upload. And this is that file. So we don't want it to remain in upload. We want to move it to the main directly. So what we have to do is clean away or delete this upload. Leave it to the main domain. This is the main domain. Up to the main domain. Then say move move file and that is it so you go to up one level so you can go to, to the, it's uh it's a saying going back it's just like when you press back on your browser so it's the same thing as up one level and there you are now you want to delete this upload zip out of the way so that will not take space on your uh disk so skip the trash apparently delete if you don't do this trashes will be storing up it's still, it's still the same thing as though this file is still here so you want to delete it and click uh, confirm and that is it now now that you have uploaded your file this is the first stage in order for your file to work you need a database now we'll be going out to create a database because without database connection these scripts no php script will work so i'll show you how to do that now so let's go so you come back to here and search database so there are, you will find two kind of databases my sql databases my sql database wizard but we'll be choosing my sql databases this is the one we want to use so you click that and say you can name it anything by default you have this thing here so just that there, there's nothing you can do about it so i will call this demo since i'm using this to demonstrate only so you click create database added the database so the database has been successfully added click go back every database must have a database use database user without a database user you cannot use a database so we are going to create a database user you scroll down so you see my sql user so you create a user i will be using demo as a username also then you'll be asked to create a pass a password so i'm putting a password now So I've created my web my username um, username is redprod underscore demo and I've put it, I've inserted my uh, created my password alongside so just click create user and that does it go back now I want to do a quick recap we have uploaded our PHP file we have created a database then we have created a database user now the next thing to do is to connect our database and our database user together and that is very easy just come here to see where it says add user database all this interface is on the same place where you are working all right so you select which database it is remember i said the name is demo so you select this username and the, uh, the database also is demo it is important i use it's not composed that you use demo as yours so you can use any other name and it's not compulsory. you have to use the same thing as the username and the database it's not compulsory. i only did this for training purpose only you understand so it's still as you can easily understand it. but normally it is good to use you know a closely related uh name for these two things so that it will not be confusing when you have a lot of you know difference in name a lot of that but if you choose to use different things it's still it's still very okay so 
you say add so we are connecting it now just say add once you say add it connects the username and the database together then the next thing it will tell you is to give privileges to this database and this username uh, user rather so what you want to do is just come here click up privileges uh, that being done you come here and say make changes select make changes and there you are we are done so that is all with database creation user and connection and privileges so it is not there how did i know that it is there if you come here to the current databases you see demo all right you also come here you see user demo now you will notice that here this has nothing that it's a zero byte so it means because we have not installed anything on it so now our database we have the database user and we have the privileges already assigned to it so let's go straight now <coughs> to access our website now let me say this if you want to access some php script you might need to do a slash forward install if in your file manager file manager if you see any file here that says install after on zipping your uh, extracting or unzipping your file in the file manager if you see anything that says install then you should always add install at the front for example demo dot business tool dot com so you should write install if there is install file in that particular folder i mean here but we, can, we can't find any any file here now I, I can't find any install file here so just leave it at that some will put it some will not put it if they do not put it just access your main domain directly after doing these two things that i've done but if you find the install file specifically that you have to add install but for this it does not have install so i'll just click that and say go so install php file exists so it is already in one of the folders but it's not obvious so we are good to go it means that our our installation was correct in the first place and then look at here these are the things that are needed <coughs> the requirement to uh be able to install this script so this is from the hosting side if any of these says not available or gives an error then you contact your hosting company to help you resolve it but for me everything is intact so let's go just say continue click continue now this is where we need a database because might be wondering what are we using database for every time you are installing a php script it will always ask you at some point to insert your database details all right if you say database database host it is always localhost whatever script you install it is always localhost then database name uh, this is it reprod read pro uh, underscore demo you remember that that was, that was the username that was the database name rather then the same thing for the user also so i just copied it uh, into it then i put the password now we created the password earlier you remember now it's asking me for uh what was it called it's asking me for this the, the purchase code so you should normally have a license code when you purchase the particular script they will give you a license code uh, to access for a serial number to access it so this is what it is asking so i'll just put it now and submit all right and that is it so it is going we are now in understand the admin name let my name for yenyala then admin user id user id it has to be an email so i uh, it's specified yes it must be email id so let me put my email then password now the reason you should not make mistake here is this if you make a mistake here you forget the details and in this admin details you will not be able to access the admin panel that is the back end of this script so make sure that you know what you are putting here and you note it down carefully all right so submit installation complete so go to the index page this is the index page so this is what we have just installed and it is successful this is a successful installation of the script so it is very easy to start using this script you know people come and you put your advert here you can put add here put add here to generate some income for yourself and you can log in like i said you should not forget so you know let me put okay the admin login so that to test if the admin login is is working so sign in it should be able to sign in using the admin login all right user not found okay let's go back go back i'm coming minutes 
this is what I was just saying a moment ago. Not to make the mistake. Okay, I think there is an admin part. I think there is, a, there is an admin. There is an admin panel where the admin logs in. Yes, there's an admin panel where the admin logs in. So this is the admin panel, the back end. But I want to do something. I want to log out uh, and see. See this is URL. So this is the admin login page. So the admin is not able to log in from the front end, and this happens at times, not always. Some scripts are you know designed in a way that you can the admin can log in from the front end, and I will give you an example of that now. Mm -hmm. I have a, a website where. Uh, Okay, this is the website itself. This is, the, you know, I told you I did this as a domain. I created this domain on this main website. So let's assess this main website. It's also a SaaS website that I run and it is free of charge. If you want to join it, helps you with your SEO stuff, you know, to rank, to check your ranking. You can even use that as a business, check ranking, a lot of that. So this is my website also. So a business too. Now, logging in here, I can log in. Okay, it's already logged in, sir. Because I can say dashboard already, so I use this for analytics, okay. And you will notice that from the main page, I just, when I click login, because I've logged in before today, that is why you will see that there is an administration dashboard here. So I'm able to do the administrative work from the even I can log in from the main website. Let me show you what I'm saying here. If I log out, right, this is me. If I log in again. This is the main website. You can see that there's no admin there. So it logs in directly to this particular admin page, to the back end directly. Some scripts are like that. Others are not like that. All this data you, data you see here is actually for one of my websites that are monitoring traffic or using this specific uh, website. So you can equally sign up here in such a website, you know, to begin to check. There are several features that you can use, right, on this particular uh, website. And it is free of charge, free for now. <laughs> I might be charging later, but for now it is free, so you can sign up free. These are the, it has analysis tools. No, sorry, analysis tools. This keyword tracking analysis tools. So you can check visitors analysis, website analysis, rank and index, all of that of your website. So you should check it. F I fin biz tools I fin that's dash biz b i z z bizetools.com I should register it's free of charge so what I'm trying to show you is that some are like that where you can the admin can log in from the front page other scripts the admin cannot you have to have a specific admin login page so let's leave this alone and come back here so we we'll log in again from the admin uh, back uh, section login page response so I just want to show you that this works so it's not like maybe this guy doesn't know what it's saying so sign in you see, login successful. So, we're going to redirect to the dashboard. And voila, we, this is where we are. And this is the dashboard of the website. Then you can do the customization and all of that from here. Now, I, I want to encourage you again to go back and watch my video about how to start a SaaS business. You will then understand how to use this kind of website and script that I've shown you in this particular uh, video. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my YouTube channel now. It's very important so that and click the notification button to support me and also to know when I upload new videos, which I'll be doing as much as possible as God give me the, the grace. All right. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time.